on a fourth down for Bentley. Now quarterback under center for the first time as he rolls out to the left side. Doesn't have any, but goes up the middle. That is caught up the middle by Ryan. First down and more as he gets to the 20-yard line. So returning back to the shotgun is Sturm. Receivers on either side, but instead decides to hand it off to Brzezicki. And he gets free into the end zone. Touchdown. Uh, I thought he was in big trouble at the 10-yard line, but he was able to squeeze his way through. 20-yard touchdown run for Andrew Brzezicki. And now it is 6-0 in favor of Bentley. See, Sturm gives to Brzezicki. Brzezicki makes two moves and just finds a seam in the Westchester defense. Third possession of the game for the Bentley Falcons. Quarterback under center. And this will be a handoff just trying to get out of the shadow of the end zone, but able to break free. Nice tackle, though, by Elder to save what could have been a touchdown. That would have been disaster for Westchester, but it is going to be a first down for Bentley. And that was Andrew Brzezicki. Take a look here. Brzezicki, 5'11", 220 pounds, and he just steamrolled his way through the Westchester defense. Boom. Boom. A and wrestled with Elder for a good seven to eight yards before Dre was able to bring him down. Wait for the call from the coach. Sturm in a shotgun, back to throw. Nope, he hands it off, and it goes right at the middle, breaking a tackle, getting a first down and more to the near side. Oh, big tackle to the chest by Naeem Jones. But a great run there by Jordan Arto. And nine from the 29, Dooley back to throw. Rolls out to the right, fires towards the end zone again. This time it's intercepted by Bentley. As going the other way is Aaron Rackey. He might have been better served to knock that one down. But it is a turnover. Racky's happy about it, and it'll be first and ten for the Falcons. And, Tom, it looks like Dooley went back to the well one too many times, was under a lot of pressure, took that same shot, but this one came up a bit short. Racky with the interception. as you One to the right, one man in the backfield. As the handoff is made, and getting the room here is Brzezicki to the outside, and he will get the first down over the 30-yard line field position to start off they spread it out it'll be a screen pass on the near side and that could be a backwards pass no indication yet that could be a fumble we're looking no signal just yet as they look at the pile that is definitely a lateral it's just a matter right now of who's on top of the ball they're still fighting for it and it's Bentley ball As uh, Sturm's in the shotgun, the one man in the backfield fakes the handoff, fakes the screen pass, and then slants it over now to Mahoney. Mahoney cuts inside to the 10, trying to get to the 5. It's forced backwards. We'll see whether they give him the credit. It's good enough for the first down. It'll be first and 10 from the 11. We're inside of two minutes, but Westchester appears to have flipped the script on Bentley. Oh, the handoff here to Brzezicki. He's through into the secondary. He'll get to the 50-yard line and dragged down from behind by, Sh by Isaiah McPherson. So maybe momentum is uh, done for Westchester as Bentley is able to take it over into a Golden Ram territory. But back behind the play, there is a Golden Ram down. Now down here for Westchester. Need to keep the momentum up as Dooley back to throw. Pressure from behind. He doesn't see it. Oh, he did see as he spins away from the rush. Has room. Dumps it up ahead to the end zone, and it is, oh, a touchback, it's intercepted. It looked like Gabe uh, Chappelle had it, but it may have been ripped out of his hand at the last second. Gabe Chappelle at 6-3 went up for it. You see here, Dooley spins away from the coverage, and then basically just throws one high, thinking that Chappelle was going to out-jump the defender. And that was the running back is Isaiah Bruce. Dooley back to throw. Pass up ahead is caught for a first down for Seth DeGree. But then he drops the ball. He fumbles it. And it's picked up. It looks like Ryan Philbot. The West Chester right now because it stops the clock. They can think about it. Third and two. They're going to stay conservative. It's getting over the center line. Now breaking free. Here is McKenzie into the end zone. Touchdown, Westchester!